Hello, and welcome to Notes of Nine. I'm David Leedy from LotusNotebook.com. Episode 18, X Pages, Data Relationships, Creating a Normal Relationship Between You and Your Data. Okay, whenever you talk about notes from the beginning, day one, they are always going to tell you that notes is not a relational database. That's, that's the rule. It's just the way it's always been. Or will it be? Well, maybe notes can be a relational database. Xpages gives us the ability to do lookups with inside things like repeat controls and a view controller. So by being able to do lookups with inside a, a view, uh, for the most part, which we've never been able to do before, we now have the ability to do some kind of more traditional relationship modeling of our data. Okay, so this is kind of a different show. I'm going to go through an example pretty quickly. I'm going to make sure that this example is available for download on lotusnotebook.com. Now, I've already recorded the demo, and, and I, it's, it's a little rough, but I'm going to let it go as it is. And, and this is a little app um, that's going to track relationships between two people. Um, so you're in a person document, and you can basically say, who's my friends, or how am I related to this person? So you can pick other people other contacts and 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 set what kind of relationship you have with this person um, you can also reverse it and see hey who is related to me which is kind of like followers on Twitter so uh, again the, the goal here is to see that we're using keys to do all this stuff you know we're not saving names to documents anymore like the old days so um, I hope you like it here we go okay so here we have a uh, little sample app. And what we've got here is a list of contacts and relationships. And you notice that every document has a unique key. And the goal of this is to be able to go into a, a contact and assign other people as relationships to the person. So if we click on Mickey Mouse here, we can come down here and we can see a little view control with Minnie Mouse as a significant other, Goofy, friend, Pete, rival, etc. And what we can do is I can click on any existing contacts, let's say Pluto, and as soon as I click on that, I'm getting the key, the, the, the foreign contact key, basically. And then I'm going to say, well, let's get a relationship. Well, let's say pet. Okay, now I've got that key. Now I click on add relationship, and in the background, that creates a, a document through the backend object model, and I do a partial page refresh, and now I've got Pluto Pet here uh, as linked to Mickey Mouse. Now, this is a view control here. Uh, I'm also doing this with a repeat control. Uh, I didn't go to all the steps here of the checkboxes and the deletions, stuff like that. And then I also kind of reversed it. So here I've got basically the, the equivalent of Twitter, the followers section. So these are the people who are related to Mickey Mouse, not who Mickey is related to. So if we find Donald Duck here, oops, we'll see that he's got Mickey Mouse here. And if we delete this relationship and go back to Mickey Mouse, Okay, he's no longer under the followers. But one of the one of the keys here is if we go to relationships and let's say we click on pet. Now let's change this to dog. And we say save. And now we come back to Mickey Mouse. Pluto dog automatically updated. No agents in the background running to to do that. Um and let's see how that works. Okay, in here we got basically some forms. We've got the contact form. Nothing special going on here. Details is kind of what makes this really work. Um, the details is, you know, basically just keys. So I've got the owner key, the relationship key, and the contact key. And then uh, here's the relationship form. Again, just the description and the key. And all we're doing is using this detail keys to make everything work. If we look at the X pages and we look at our contact here and I've got some custom controls going on here uh, but let's look let's look here first at this add a relationship and, and what's going on here okay so again you guys can step through the code yourselves but I'm making a document in the background 
or with back end objects. I'm setting the form, and then I'm getting the the keys basically from from these fields here that I grab. And if we look at this, the, the values, and this is kind of this is kind of interesting. Uh, here we go, edit. So what we're going to do to get this the values here because we're not selecting the key if you, if you remember right right we're we're selecting you know the name but we want the key to be stored and the key is getting stored right here so the way that works is this view here which is contacts and if we look at the the view contacts by having a column here with the name and a pipe and then the key will and we do the lookup on this column then the name will be displayed but the key will be saved so we've got this bound to a scoped variable view scope of new contact key and this computer field is bound to the exact same thing so that proves that you can look up the name but then you save the key and then where where the I guess the magic happens here is if we look at this view control, and this this c column here is computed. So I add this in. This is not in the view. The, these hidden view these hidden columns are in the view, but this and this are not. This column here is the key, and here's the relationship key, and I use basically a lookup inside here. So we set a variable called key to row data and row data is the row that we're in and if we look here at the view at the all properties we've got bar row data right here so every row that gets generated has row data And then we do we take that key that we get for which is basically the contact key, and we do a lookup um, to get what that key should be. And then we return that lookup, and then that's what gets displayed in the view. And that's basically the gist of it. Relationship works the same way. Um, here's the the example inside a repeat control, doing basically the same thing. Uh, it just works a little differently because it's a repeat control. And then here's the reverse of it. And what this allows you to do is do lookups inside view controls or repeat controls and almost join your data. Now, I don't know if I do 100 dB lookups inside of view control, uh, but, you know, your mileage may vary. But you can do it, so why not? And that's the demo. Um, so again, I'm going to make this available uh, at least on lotusnotebook.com, uh, probably on, on notes9.com as well, the, the download file. Um, so you can probably get it from either place. And I thank you for your time.